How do you react when someone disagrees with you? The way most people deal with conflicting viewpoints these days. Ask them why in a condescending tone, and when they try to justify their position talk over them constantly, and mock them using a simplified us vs them mentality, to depict them as wrong or even a bad person for having their own opinion. My opinion is the only one that counts and I will mock and belittle anyone whose view even slightly deviates from my own because I love being a member of outrage culture, where we get angry over every little thing and a healthy public discourse is becoming nearly impossible because people on the extremes try to force us to pick some arbitrary side on every single issue. This might be tearing society apart but at least I get to feel morally superior to everybody else and that's what's important right? S. Interesting question for self-reflection. Apparently, everyone thinks they act all respectful and all, and maybe I'm just not surrounded by the right people, but it's very rare to have a dispute without getting personal. A fake, I tend to get a tad defensive in the beginning and just stand by my opinion, until I feel like the other person's arguments are based on facts and seem legit. Then I might reiterate. I also try to get to a common ground, when the debate isn't with a close friend. When I argue with a friend I can disagree without the need to meet halfway, but without getting personal. Or sometimes we do. Depends. When you agree to disagree with a friend without it getting personal, does it feel awkward afterwards? Or do you carry on normally? Depends on what it's about, and why they disagree, and also how they act. I always try to find out first where they're coming from, because sometimes they're a rational human being who came to a different conclusion than I did and sometimes they're just straight up ignorant. Wrong facts, shaky chain of logic. If it's the former then we can talk. I've had good discussions with a conservative friend of mine about abortion even though we disagree. If it's the latter then I usually don't engage, because there is no point. The exception being, if they're being hateful. I just hear them out. There is thing called the internet, where you can easily verify some information, so I utilize that to my benefit. I don't get offended or anything, and there is nothing wrong with not having all the right answers. What I hate, is when it has to do with your opinion on something and someone tell you that that's wrong. Then I get a bit annoyed and say well, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one and they smell. So don't put it on my face. Completely depends on the context. If it's in a constructive way, where they give some kind of informed reason explanation, I encourage it, and like to have a discussion. If someone can't back it up, and they just disagree, it depends how important the point is, and how open to opinion it is. If it's something unimportant I can just ignore it, if it's something important it can be annoying. It, everyone is apparently an angel. For me, it depends. If I think they are right then I get defensive, and change my argument. If they are wrong then I very adamantly say how, why they are wrong. I'm not usually disrespectful, but it's not like I'm super composed. Interesting. It's nice to have different perspectives it at least. Depends on context. If I suspect I'm right, I will be very patient, and try to listen to my counterpart. If I suspect I'm wrong, I can either be very curious or somewhat defensive. It depends on how personal the subject of the disagreement is, and how much I think being wrong will cost me in front of witnesses. I tend to get super defensive, before reminding myself it's not a matter of life or death. By that point it's too late and they're already mad at me, so I try to just agree to disagree, but they just get angrier, so I get more defensive. Yep I'm terrible at it. When someone disagrees with me, I always like to try, and figure out why. I never give my opinion, unless asked or brought up. If I disagree with them, and they are respectful I'll see what makes them tick. It might just be, that I'm the misinformed one. Depends on what it is. If it's an actual matter of opinion, I try to have a conversation why. If they disagree on a fact, I take a few tries, to explain why they are wrong. They don't like that. Then the conversation ends and I lose respect for them. When I was younger I used to get irked. Then I matured and accepted that not everyone can or should agree with me. Now I'm getting to the point, where the broad mind, and the narrow waist are changing places, and I'm going back to being irked again. Fictional context if you knock over that beam, the building will it collapse? No it won't. Are you sure it won't? Yep, I'm sure. Well, go figure out for yourself them building collapses welp, I tried to tell em. 
I usually get annoyed at first but also think about their perspective in the conversation, and also fact check if it's worth the hassle. If it's something petty I don't really care, and change the subject or walk away. What's the context? If we are talking movies or something, then it can be a fun conversation It could also be unfun. If we are talking politics, it depends on what the disagreement is, and why it happened. I respect your point of view, however it differs from mine. No you don't. It doesn't. You're wrong. And that is your opinion. Gracefully disappears from scene. Quietly agree and then spend the next week formulating brilliant counterpoints and ways to shut down their argument, and then quietly stew hoping for a chance to bring up the argument again. Say I don't want to talk about it, and walk away cause I'm not in the mood to waste time arguing. I'm not changing my mind, and not changing yours so why bother? Respectfully tell them why I disagree and try to get to know more about their standpoint. Unless they are clearly in the wrong then I might just let them learn it themselves. Being completely honest I love debating with people, so I'll gladly attempt to show that you're wrong, or defend my own position, but in a respectful manner. I try to listen carefully without arguing. If there's no common ground, I say obviously, we simply don't agree. Let's leave it there. I respect their opinion, and try to understand why they disagree. I like to keep the peace, I only get in arguments if necessary. If I have time, try to convince them I'm right, because I refuse to let other people have their bigoted opinions in peace. I usually say well, to each their own, unless it's something that I feel I really need to prove I'm right about. Call them a racist, misogynist, homophobe, transphobe, etc and accuse them of being a paid Russian. Don't disagree with them just keeping agreeing till they shut up why argue, you're not going to change their mind. Like a lot of people are saying be respectful, and try to reach a middle ground if not, agree to disagree. How do you define disagree, op? Because this is, potentially, a really loaded question. There is only one way, to settle disputes in 2019, claw platch. Unless it's my sister or impassionate about the subject, I usually just agree to disagree. Play pumped up kicks, and start looking trough a bag. That will give him a scare. I tell him that I disagree, but I act respectful like responsible adults. I try and find out why they think that way. See if I can learn from them. Discuss their reasons for the disagreement. Maybe they have a legitimate reason. Try to have a respectful discussion about it like any reasonable human being. Put yourself in their shoes, try and understand it from their perspective. I usually end the topic that was discussed, since it can get heated. We as loud as I can then run to my room and slam the door then cry a lot. I don't really care. I disagree with people all the time lol. Usually just accept it, sometimes throw in a hose mad. They can't disagree, if they don't have a voice box. Thank you for your incorrect opinion. Walks out. Not surprised since I'm used to people disagreeing with me. Respectfully, and not like a child. It's time to d d d d d d d duel. Ask them why they think that way, 